Electric guitarists love vintage stuff. We like valve amps, we like amps of a certain year, certain vintage guitars. You know, you sort of be up in arms if you change the pot from the original pot of a 1968 Stratocaster into something else. Well, yeah, but it's music and we've got to explore. We've got to use the sounds that we've got to create not only sounds that we've heard in the past, but also into the future. Today, I'm going to talk about pedal order because yes, it's important, but don't let anyone tell you that you've got your pedals in the wrong order because there really isn't such a thing. Sure, you can get more effective ways by ordering your pedals, but just create. Let's have a look. Here then, I've got two pedals. I've got an overdrive pedal and a wah-wah pedal. So just straight through with neither pedal in, in circuit. Just got a standard clean guitar sound. Now if I use the blues driver, which I've got here, I've got the Boss BD2. It's an overdrive pedal, that's what it does. And then the wah wah pedal is the familiar sort of 70s thing, or Jimi Hendrix. What happens when you put these effects together? Well, at the moment, the overdrive pedal is first in the chain. That means that the wah wah pedal is going to deal with the overdriven sound. This is quite important because what actually happens in a wah wah pedal is that the output level of it actually changes. When it's right at the toe, you're getting much, much more treble but less bass end, so therefore a bit less energy. Let's see what happens if we swap them over. So now I've got my wah wah pedal on, and it's this time first in the chain. Let's see what happens if I add the overdrive. I haven't changed any of the settings on these pedals either. Uh, so, overdrive on. Now, because the wah wah is essentially a band pass, it has this frequency that moves up and down, it's going to make that overdrive pedal behave a little bit differently. This is kind of, well, if you think Jimi Hendrix, there weren't distortion pedals as such. He had a wah wah pedal going into a Marshall amplifier, so it was kind of this way round. It's fine, it sounds fine. Should it be the other way round or should it be this way round? It's up to you. Now, let's add another pedal. This time I've replaced the wah-wah pedal with a tremolo. This is the Boss TR2. Very nice pedal in that you can actually adjust the wave to make it sound really square or triangle. Fine. Now, here's the tremolo pedal, just without the overdrive. Very nice. Let's add the drive. What's actually happening here is that the overdrive pedal is sometimes on and sometimes it's not really because the level coming out of the tremolo affects the overdrive. Let's swap them over. So I've got exactly the same settings again on both of these pedals, but they are now opposite way round. So if we've got the blues driver. What happens if I add the tremolo? You get a different noise. You get always get the distortion because the guitar is feeding the overdrive first before it goes into the tremolo pedal. That's fine. And the tremolo effect is more pronounced than it was when it was the other way around. But do we want this or do we want it the other way around? It's up to you. Now this, of course, is the advantage of modern digital uh, based systems like the Headrush pedal board, for example. You can just drag one pedal on the touch screen and put it before or after another one or just change the order completely. So. 
It's a little bit less flexible with this unless you've got lots of wiring and switches, but it gets a bit of a palaver. So lots of guitarists will sit at home and just work on their sound. So now I've got an octave pedal. Now this time the overdrive, which has still got the same settings, is before the octave. Let's just hear the octave on its own. Now this is a digital pedal, so it's quite fussy about what it sees from the guitar. So it works a bit better with the neck pickup. What happens if I add the overdrive? It's a little bit happier because it's seeing a bit more level. Let's try them the other way round. Okay, so here they are the other way round. Just the octaves to start with. And with the overdrive. prefer that way around really because the octave is actually it needs to see clean signal level from the guitar so if you've got lots of these pedals that are digital they they depend on a clean signal you're gonna to have to think about really if you want them all in the chain and what happens to those types of pedals if you put them after other pedals there it is there's a little bit of an insight into what pedal order can do for you. There's nothing wrong with any of the sounds. It's completely exploratory, but you may get better results if you just think about things like signal levels and whether pedals are happy to see a clean or indeed an affected sound. There we are.